Hey guys, so welcome to my Peacock Inspired NYX Face Awards entry video. This is going to be a makeup look and a hair kind of thing, and I hope you guys really enjoy it, and if you guys do, give us a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll make it to the first official round. And yeah. <laughs> enjoy! This is what it feels like I don't get how people film outside because there's kids everywhere and dogs everywhere and I'm filming like the most public part of my backyard and like I can just see the street where all the kids are playing from here and then there's kids playing hide and seek between the houses so they're all coming here and they're ah. So the first thing I'm going to do is pin back my bangs, because those are a pain in the butt now. And then I'm going to prime my face using the Flawless Beauty Primer from Pixi. This has a luminescent look to it, so it's going to add a little bit of a glow to your skin. Then I'm going to be using the foundation method uh, that Wayne Goss made a video about. And I'm just going to start my face with powder and this is the matte just loose powder in NW25. Next I'm just going to take the Skin True Concealer Quad from Annabelle and apply this to any blemishes and underneath my eyes. Using my Real Techniques Beauty um, Collection Sponge Little Bobber, I'm just going to apply the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Bare Perfection Makeup all over my face. <laughs> Okay, let's get serious. We're taking the jacket off. Next, I'm going to apply this corally color blush from the NYX All I Ever Wanted palette. Next, I'm just going to contour my face using the bronzer from the Body Shop. And for an extra dose of bronze and glow, I'm using the bronzer from Pixi. And then I'm just going to highlight my face using Sunbeam from Benefit. Then I'm going to prime my eyelids using Elf Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. taking a super pretty per uh, blue color from the NYX All I Ever Want palette and applying that to my eyelid. Then I, next I'm going to take a gold color and apply it on my inner corner and I grab a mixture of two greens and apply that into my outer corner and then grab a green color and apply it to my crease. Then I'm going to go into my e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and grab that light lime color and just blend it all out. Then I'm going back to the next palette and grabbing this green color to apply to my inner crease to make it all cohesive. Then I'm going to highlight my brow bone using Hot Sunbeam by Benefit. Next, I'm just going to line my eyes using a gel eyeliner from Micah Beauty, which is pretty much all dried out. And then I'm just going to go over it with the Elf Liquid Liner to intensify the line. Um, I'm also then going to take the Elf Liner and do two little dots just to help extend my eye. And then I'm then I'm going to set my eyebrows using this Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. And then I'm going to line my waterline using the Steel All Day um, Eyeliner in Turquoise. And then I'm going to use these lashes from Kiss. I'm going to leave the number down below. And I'm just going to apply these to my eyeball. Focus your touch, and I never let 
you go I could take you places you ain't never been before Baby, take a chance so you'll never ever know I got money in my hands that I really like to blow Swipe, swipe, swipe on you Chillin' by the fire while we eatin' for and through I don't know about me, but I know about you So say hello to Falsetto in three, two, swipe Good morning and good night Then to help preserve my lashes, I'm only going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes This is just one from Lancome Then I'm going to set my face using the Anna Sue, um powder foundation This is going to help give me a little more coverage while I'm still making everything feel big Then I'm just going to finish it off with the Blooming Up powder from Essence This is Dupable to the hourglass powders and it's amazing. And next I'm going to line my lips with this Annabelle lip liner and then I'm going to fill it in with a Maybelline lipstick, color sensational lipstick. After looking at my disgusting hair, I'm going to do it and I'm going to take it out of that ponytail and let it roar. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just shake it out and then grab some hair dye that I got from winter. And I have a purple one and a blue one which reminds me of a peacock. And I'm just going to pick random strands and work it in there really well to help it not look clumpy and gross. Ah, dirty fingers. Um, but I'm just going to put a little more on my hands and then work my hair up into a bun. I have relatively thick hair, so I don't need any of those like donut bun things. So I'm just going to pull it up into almost like a high ponytail and then just kind of add more dye. <laughs> I really wanted to act in there. And then I'm just going to pull it up, put it up, put it up, and then kind of circle it around each other itself until I have a shape. And then just wrap the off around it a couple times and just rough it to my desire of liking. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy.